Have you moved to a new country, been there a few months, got all your papers in order, but you're still not feeling really connected to that place? Well, today I am going to share my eight tips on how to truly fall in love with your new country. Ahoy from Prague. I'm Paul Colto. This sleeping beauty here is Jozin. And I love telling people what a great city Prague is and what a beautiful country the Czech Republic is. It's my new home. I've lived here for five years and the people have been really welcoming. And I try to do my best to repay that kindness and that hospitality by getting out and exploring the countryside as much as I can, uh, by trying the local food and by trying to learn the seemingly impossible language. I think falling in love with your new country and truly embracing it is absolutely vital in terms of you making a true connection with that country and ultimately being able to call it home. My first tip is perhaps quite an obvious one, a little bit of a no-brainer, but learn about the country that you have moved to. For example, you can learn about the history of the country. This can be done in a number of ways. For example, just a simple Wikipedia search and exploration can teach you a number of things. Immerse yourself in the culture of that country too. For example, by uh, watching films by directors from that country. Here in the Czech Republic, uh, the movie Kolya won the Oscar for best film. Uh, and it's a really great film to watch because it takes you back in time and contextualizes parts of the history that perhaps you've read about already. Uh, books are a good idea, of course, and even just simple things like YouTubing interesting facts about that country. But the sooner you learn about that country, the more you're going to find little things that will make it easier for you to fall in love with it. My second tip is to say yes to any invitations from locals, within reason, of course. Uh, don't be scared of the language barrier, just go for it. I guarantee you that nine times out of ten, you will leave those experiences walking on air. My third tip is to embrace the language. In my video on how to settle quickly in a new country, I said that it's important to learn six or seven key phrases when you first arrive. But if you've been in that country for a little bit longer, like the first year or two, I think it's absolutely vital that you really do your best to learn the local language because I don't believe you can truly connect to a place until you really do know the language. If other people can learn English, then I think we can learn other languages. My fourth tip is to embrace the food. No matter how different or strange it may seem, a lot of people say that a country's cuisine is its heart. So get involved, get stuck in, try some different foods. Here in the Czech Republic, it's quite a meaty country. I'm a vegetarian, so a lot of people might think that's a problem, but I found plenty uh, of vegetarian options in terms of restaurants, especially in Prague, but also on Czech menus. There's a special type of pickled cheese called nakladani hermelin, uh, which is something I've fallen in love with and have made at home by myself many, many times. My fifth tip is to research and find a favorite cafe, restaurant, bar and park. Because when you have your own favorite cafe, you go there regularly and the waiters and waitresses start to recognize you and they'll say hello and give you a little smile. And it's those little connections that are just small steps on the way to truly falling in love with a new country. My sixth tip is perhaps the thing that helped me fall in love with the Czech Republic the most, and it's get to the countryside. Every country has out areas of outstanding natural beauty, uh, especially here where we have Moravia, Bohemia, castles, national parks, rivers, lakes, breweries. It's just a, a sea of joy. And the sooner you get to know the countryside, I think you learn to discover the soul of that country. And if you have beautiful experiences in and around the country, you're going to start falling in love with it. My seventh tip is to quite simply try to avoid comparing your home country continually to your new country, because that was then and this is now. My eighth tip is to write a journal, not necessarily every day, but at least once a week. And I know a lot of people find journal writing a little bit insufferable and maybe a little bit self-absorbed, but I think it's if there's ever a time to do this, it's when you make a big move like this, because in that journal, you can write down all your experiences and everything that you've learned. And when you see how much that this adventure has taught you, then you begin to really fall in love with your new country. 
You don't have to tell people about it. You can keep your journals just completely to yourself. But when I look back at my journals, it's like I've got a physical record of everything that I've seen and learned. And it's something I can pass on to future generations if they have the, the patience and the will to read them. And my ninth and final tip is to get creative. Because every time you create something inspired by your new life, you have a little permanent reminder of that point on the journey. I think we love what we find beautiful. So surround yourself with beautiful people and experiences and you will fall in love with your new country. Do you live in a different country to the one that you grew up in? Are you happy there? What do you love about it? How did you fall in love with it? Please share your experiences and your stories in the comments below. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click like, share it with anyone else you think might find it interesting and don't forget to subscribe. There are new videos every week on international relocation advice, ESL teaching advice and lots, lots more. So until next time, toot toot.